I'm Mark Davis, and I'm President and CEO of PAR. I oversee the strategy and operations for the association. Hi, I'm Nick. I am the Government Relations Manager at PAR. My name is Carmusha Singleton. I am the Policy Administrative Assistant. I have joined PAR about four months ago. Um, previously, before coming to PAR, I've been in all the different aspects of healthcare, um, specifically healthcare, hospital settings, nursing home settings, as well as working in the community with individuals with intellectual disability and autism as well. We're working really hard to get adequate wages for direct support professionals so that they can only have one job, have a reasonable work-life balance, and be able to raise a family on a living wage. Um, it's really important to us because we know that the, the real quality of our system lies at the level of the DSP and the individual with intellectual disability or autism. A DSP is a direct support professional. Um, they are hands-on with individuals who have intellectual disabilities. They are the backbone. To life. They can be anything from, a, uh, from uh, someone that helps them to get employment in the community to someone that helps them uh, eat, to help them wake up, to help them to bathe, to, uh, to uh, take their medicine, to balance their checkbook, to, to giving them uh, insulin injections, uh, to giving them administering food and medication through GRJ tubes, so very complex medical procedures, to uh, uh, administering behavior support plans that help them to get along better with other people, to help them to access technology, uh, to be part of the virtual community. They are the family that they have outside of the family, um, and they go unrecognized for a lot of the things that they do for the individuals that they serve. No matter how we look at it, we know that uh, DSPs are woefully underpaid for the tremendous work they do and the value they add to the lives of people with disabilities and their family members. Right now, um, PAR, we are asking uh, our state legislators and the governor to um, provide for immediate relief um, from the American Rescue Fund, um, monies to be used for um, you know, increased wages um, during this pandemic um, so that we can uh, help bring in more DSPs, but also keep the ones that we, uh, that we currently have. I was once a DSP, so I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be away from your family. I know how it feels to be in a home where you know, you're servicing multiple individuals. Um, and you sometimes you feel unappreciated, but your work, your hard work, your dedication, your love that you give these individuals is not going unnoticed. I recognize it just as others recognize it. Really appreciate the work that you do and uh, know that we are working tirelessly on your behalf, hoping that you will have a better life as well as the people that you're supporting. Your stories uh, can make a big uh, difference and impact on uh, legislators as we are, um, you know, going to them and asking them uh, for their help for their for the investment of, of state dollars. Um, your stories can be helpful in moving them towards a position of compassion and caring. Um, but we need to hear from you. We need you to. Um, let us know that you want to be helpful and we can get you involved. We see you, we appreciate you, we need you, but most of all, we thank you.